So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we wanna actually take off these feet. Okay. So a good way to do that is just put it here and chop. Once we do that, we can pull our hide off. Okay. So we can chop right through that bone. And then we wanna remove the head too, so mm -hmm. We can do a similar situation. Now what I like to do is just cut them right across the back right here. Get some loose skin. You cut them, you can just grab them like this. And you can peel the skin right off. Try to keep the hair off of our hands. Since we did the the legs already, we can peel it right down. down a rabbit hides are real thin so you might kind of get it off in pieces if you have a nice surface to work on that's flat that makes it just a little bit easier yeah you'll get your share Charlie So once we pull all that off, just down to the back end here, we can cut the tail. Peel off the rest of the hide. Just like so. Now that we've done that, we're gonna to need to go ahead and <clears throat> remove the entrails. So we'll split right up through this breastbone right here. Expose the heart. Do you want that or you want the doggy to have it? Oh, I'll take it. Okay, we'll give him some of the other stuff. What I like to do is just kind of pick this up so you don't cut the, the guts. Right on back right here. And then we'll just go ahead and cut right through the pelvis. And that's gonna allow us to <laughs> keep everything nice and clean as we peel it out. We'll start from the front here. Get a hold of those lungs. Just peel it right on back. By doing it that way, we're able to keep everything clean. And there we have it. Peel dressed, skinned, ready for the frying pan. Mm. One cottontail rabbit.